Hello YouTube. So here we have the both the last video of the comparison between these two fans. The last school 16 inch stand fan model 2116 from 1994 and 1998. As you already know the 1994 version is a bit taller than the 98 version. And there are a lot of differences between them. As I already mentioned before the the base of the 1994 version has a metal plate at the bottom. Well, this one doesn't. This fan has thicker poles. And this one has thinner poles. And it, it, one can tell when the time last goes cheapening up, especially considering the quality of this fan. And this is the prime, and this is the example of that time. I mean, it was still built good, but the but this one was built more better than that one. I will show the motors, said so, because they are quite different. So here are the motors, and as you can already see, they are quite different. Now the motor in the newer fan, as you can tell, is it closed and. But it has fence, and on this one they're more exposed and open. But it has the same stator. The stator, though, it has some grooves on the inside, and this one doesn't. Another thing to mention is how the oscillator gearbox is built. And while well, both are similar build, uh, they both have the same switches and stuff, but here's another thing. And as you can already see, the gearbox in the 1994 version has, is pretty much straight. And the rod on this one is slanted right here. And the capacitors, they're different. This one is just a uh, plastic mold. And the wires are exposed. This one is held by a metal, a metal piece. And the wires are insulated. The oscillation, the oscillation knob and everything are pretty much the same. There's nothing really that different between them. But here's another thing different. And it's the way the wire is wrapped around the fan. And side by side, you can see that the 1998 version uses a clip to hold the wire. While the 94 version is tied up to the, to the motor shell. So, and another important thing. Both of these shafts, they're not the same. They're actually a bit different. And you can already see how. And I don't know if I could, but I think I could, but... Um, you can see the difference in length between these two shafts. The 1994 version would be longer than the 98 version. This shaft will be used on all fan models in the future. So... The benefit of this blade shaft is that, as mentioned in a previous video, I could adapt the blade into this from an older 90s or 80s fan, such as this older early 90s Galaxy blade set. Slides right on, and I could. And I'm able to screw the blade nut, as you can see right there. With this one though, you can't do the you can't do the same thing because of how short it is. And as you can see, the threads are not as long as they will be on here. So this one has a disadvantage, but at this at this point. 
last good discontinue this blade mold. But you could use this blade set right on this fan too. As you can see right here. Now this one has a different this one has two versions of this motor shell. And that's this one. And as you can see, it has grooves on it. Set like this one. And that is because in case this breaks, and if you have if you had an older fan at the time, you could it gave you the option to uh modify it. And that's exactly what I did with that fan up there. So you can modify it and place metal cages on this. So this was a very good benefit of last go. Later on, that option would be no longer as shown on this fan. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it for the motors. Now we'll go back to the fan. So here we are with the fans again. We're going to start them both on low. No, they're both quiet. I'll give it that. But I can kind of feel this one a bit more than that one. Yeah. So we'll go to speed two. Now on speed 2, I, I can already hear a distinctive sound, I don't know if you can, but this one has more like a howl, this one has a deep roar to it. I still feel this one more. I don't know about the, what's with the aerodynamics on this fan, but uh, these, one, these blades seem to be better than the newer ones. Yeah, I feel that one more. That one, even though it, even though it's powerful, it kind of feels choppy. But not that one. No, I think the oscillation actually is pretty much the same. Let me see. Let me push the buttons on these. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. No difference in oscillation pattern. Let me stop. Stop this one too. As you saw, these both have smooth oscillations. I can already see that one has a longer spin now than this one. And yeah, even though the motors have the same amount of power. And I don't know, but yeah, it seems like the aerodynamics seem to also impact the coasting 
of the blade. Now, they're both kind of similar in design. I don't know, these blades, even though they're steep in pitch, they're kind of, the aerodynamics are a bit flawed. While this one, the pitch is also steep, it's, I think it's identical. But, as you can see, it just traces off like that. The other blade, which is cut down, it actually just traces halfway, so that's probably why it's flawed. Well, that's going to do it for this video. The last comparison of the Lasco 16-inch stand fan model 2116, the 1994 version and the 1998 version. Thanks for watching.